I welcome everyone to our God's Word Fellowship podcast. I am Vanita Santiago here. God is good all the time and all the time our God is good. So we serve a good God. See, my husband is preaching on a series saying that I have a good shepherd. So you have a good shepherd. So you have a good God. And you have a merciful and a faithful high priest praying for you. Sitting at the right hand of the Father continually. See, Jesus is not getting relaxed. Jesus is not taking rest in the heaven. He is into a more excellent ministry. He has obtained that ministry. And today, the present day ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ is called prayer ministry. Intercession ministry. Many people speak uh, light of prayer today. It's because they don't understand the importance of prayer. They are ignorant about the power which is available in that. If someone says that they are praying for you, value it. Esteem it high. Because they are praying for you. And they are uh, you know, keeping the petitions before God for you. See, Jesus is not praying for himself that anything that he wants. His prayers are unselfish prayers. His prayers, he is praying for us. So that we can get things, so that our needs are met, so that our prayers will be answered. What a great God we are serving today. Jesus Christ is mindful of us. He has engraven us in the palm of his hands. He knows everybody's name. I like that verse in Psalm 144, I think, where it says, He knows the stars by name. There are 400 billion stars in our Milky Way galaxy alone. I mean, there are so many galaxies in the world. So, God remembers our name. If He can now call stars by name, do you think that He will forget? Man is much more precious in the sight of God. You see, Jesus did not shed his blood for material things. Jesus did not shed his blood for uh, earth or universe. He shed his blood for human beings. Because human beings are the crown of his creation. <laughs> Adam was the crown of God's creation. So he shed his blood for us and he is interceding for us today. So it's very important for you to honor the ministry and accept the ministry that what Jesus Christ is doing for us today. And uh, let's read our uh, scripture. So before that, let's pray and then read our scripture and get into our message. Father, we come into your presence in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you so much that Jesus Christ is praying for us, sitting at your right hand on our behalf. He is making petitions and he is standing in gap between you and us. Thank you for giving us a faithful, a merciful high priest for all of us. Thank you so much that you have made all the good things available for us in our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that you give us revelation. Father, I pray that you give us insight and understanding, uh, a deep knowledge about the things that what Jesus Christ is doing for us today. Father, I pray that you speak to all of us through your word and through your mighty Holy Spirit. Enlighten us, Father, with your word. Let your word illuminate our thoughts and ideas and uh, help us to follow that what you teach us today and apply those things in our life. Help us not to be hearers only, but to be the doers of God's word. Thank you so much that you heard and answered all our prayers. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. You know what? God heard our prayers and expect God to speak to us today. So let's read our scripture. Hebrews 4 verse 14 to 16. Seeing then we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens. Jesus the son of God. Let us hold fast our profession. 
we will come back here and today we will be studying about this particular statement let us hold fast our profession so keep reading for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin verse 16 let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need see when you come into the presence of god god is promising you grace mercy help see when he is offering so many good things for us what is it stopping us from coming to his presence why people are not coming to his presence people are looking for answers outside god's word meanwhile their solution is here in jesus meanwhile their problems can be fixed when they come to the throne instead of coming to the throne they are running away everywhere except god see god is offering help for you god is offering grace mercy help in time of need just the time that you need see nobody can say that uh, i don't need any help everybody needs help without god we cannot do well on this earth it's impossible to think our life without our lord jesus christ i mean uh, paul says in book of acts in him we live and move and have our being so every breath that we take it's because of god god has made our life so easy he made our body in such a way fearfully wonderfully that he has made us that we don't struggle to breathe he made all things good for us see god thinks about human beings so much people will think that god has forgotten human beings god made human beings and left the earth by for itself god does not care that's the idea of people that's the thoughts of people no don't follow those things which are contradicting god's word follow what the bible says this bible should be the absolute standard for you there are so many beliefs in the world which are contradicting god's word if you are smart if you are a believer who loves jesus christ then embrace the word of god embrace the faith embrace god and his word your life will be good it shall be well with you so why don't you come to the presence of god and receive help when he is offering for you because in his presence there is fullness of joy and at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore anything that you need god has God has solutions for all your problems. You cannot surprise God saying that this problem is new. No. God knows everything. The end from the beginning. God knows even what is going to happen in the future which you and I have no clue about it. Our God is omniscient God. He knows the end from the beginning. He knows your past. He knows your present. He knows your future. and he is giving his hand to help you so receive that help which god is offering for you so today we will look at how we are going to receive our answers for prayers free some from last 2 3 weeks i have been uh, saying that we have a great high priest and our high priest is uh, unchangeable nobody is going to take the place of jesus god has given our lord jesus christ a more excellent ministry a more excellent ministry and it is when it is compared with moses jesus christ is more excellent compared with aaronic ministry jesus christ ministry is more excellent he is more excellent than angels he is more excellent than abraham patriarchs anybody okay you you can mention so jesus christ is greater and above everyone so his ministry also is more excellent than anybody else that you can say so that's what we are studying 
and uh, the next thing that i said that jesus christ he is praying on our behalf see his prayers are not selfish he is lifting all the prayers for our sake and he knows our infirmities he knows our weaknesses and he is our faithful and merciful high priest that's what we studied from uh, last 3 weeks and today we are going to study about the same ministry that what jesus christ is doing in a different angle see here we read in hebrews 14 verse uh, yeah 4 verse 14 here it says let us hold fast our profession you have to hold fast to god's word many people are not holding fast to god's word they are letting go that's why their prayers are not getting answered so because of there is a time delay because they are not getting the answers within their calculated time within the time that they expected they think that god is not interested in answering their prayers so today we will see that we have a great high priest and we need to hold fast to our confession see just because uh, jesus christ is praying for us and he is uh, answering you know he is uh, making our petitions before god that does not mean that we will get all our answers automatically and uh, by itself it is god's will for you to do well in your life it is god's will for you to have enjoy the good life and good health and protection everything is available for you in our lord jesus christ just because it is god's will just because that uh, grace of god has made available for us all the things that we need it won't work automatically the god's part he has done it perfectly god's part he is doing still perfectly but there is a part that we also have to do in order to get connected with that blessing in order to receive that blessing we need to place ourselves where we can get blessed we have to bring ourselves there we need to grow in god's word and there are some things that we have to do which is on our part what god has left up to us to do then we have to follow that see there are some people who say if it is god's will it just happens in our life god is almighty god is powerful he can do anything his will be done all those things are true i agree with those things god is powerful his grace is available for us all those things are there just because god is powerful and god's grace is available for you the grace will not make you do things what god has left up to you see you cannot do god's part and god will not do your part you have to understand these things god has given us some responsibilities and some things that uh, what he is expecting us to do if we do that faithfully then our prayers will be answered let's read one more verse hebrews 3 verse 1 wherefore holy brethren so it is referring to whom all god's children and there are some more things about it who are you you are the partakers of the heavenly calling so when you think about yourself think like this you are the holy brethren why are why is god calling us holy not not because uh, we have done everything perfect and well in our life God is calling us holy based on the finished works of our Lord Jesus Christ because his blood has sanctified us his blood has cleansed us from all unrighteousness God has accepted the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ and uh, Jesus Christ has appeased the wrath of God and uh, now God is not angry with us many people think that you they have made some mistake and god is angry with them god will punish them if you can confess your sins before god and ask god for forgiveness and don't do that again in your life god is faithful and merciful to forgive you your sins so when when you pray like that believe that god cleansed you and today even today our souls are getting cleansed we are getting consecrated every day 
so that's why god is calling us holy brethren when you say when bible says that holy brethren don't look for some righteous and holy people it is speaking about every believer who believes in the blood of our lord jesus christ and uh, you are the partakers of heavenly calling and uh, after mentioning all this paul is saying something very interesting and very important for our life where it says consider the apostle and high priest of our profession christ jesus consider the apostle first of all let's uh, pay attention to this word consider consider means pay attention give your uh, thoughts about it and now look at here see today we are living in a very busy world we are living in a world where there is lot of distractions and lot of things uh, pulling us away from the presence of god a lot of beliefs people believe said no it is my truth this is what i believe this is my philosophy this is what i believe people are exaggerating what they believe they are presenting their what they believe they are writing books they are publishing they are writing their opinions in posting in the facebook posting in the instagram everywhere people are presenting their beliefs this is what i believe this is what i think this is what my philosophy is that philosophy what they are posting is it agreeing with god's word or is it against god's word you have to pay attention to that many people know without reading the bible they are getting swayed away by the articles what people are publishing and they are not considering the word of god they are not paying attention to what god says when the problems come in their life immediately they go to internet and uh, type something in the google and search for solution this is what many people do <laughs> see here is saying consider the apostle apostle means sent one god sent a lord jesus christ to this earth and uh, that's that part is over so it's speaking about the the finished works of christ here consider so you need to consider our lord jesus christ so when you have a problem in your life when you are in trouble uh, when you are waiting for some answers when you are looking for some solutions when you are trapped uh, when your uh, problems are ever increasing not seeing any answers not seeing any results everything is going against everything is contradicting to what you are believing what should you do at that time do you get swayed away by problems and uh, get moved by circumstances or do you take time in the, in the time of trouble to consider the apostle and the high priest of our profession high priest jesus christ is our great high priest so we need to consider that god sent jesus christ he is our apostle and the high priest of our profession today let's park ourselves in this word called profession profession in other words you can say confession so many people say that okay you have to say that he is the high priest of our confession there is nothing wrong in saying that he is the high priest of our confession actually this verse is speaking about confession because what you speak in your daily life not only in prayer see prayer is very important see when it comes to prayer people are very careful about the words that they speak they are speaking to god and they are full holy and uh, they speak uh, and they pray according to god's word they lift up their prayers according to god's word at that time their confession is good but once they leave that place people think that when they are doing uh, their normal life and they are living their normal life they when in, during that time people tend to speak against the prayer what they just made i prayed already let's see what happens i prayed already let's see if god comes through or not let's see how whether it changes or not if you say like that then you are not holding fast to the 
confession just what you made before god you are nullifying your prayers you just uh, negated everything that you prayed so our prayers our word of god should be in line our words that what we speak should be in line with god's word whether you are in the presence of god whether you are out there in the world whether you are sitting in the hotel and having your food whether you are sitting before the computer and doing your work any time hold fast to the confession so what do you confess you don't confess what the world is confessing you are going to confess what god's word says about you see when god's word becomes your words that's when our high priest can uh, present your supplication before god see when you are not confessing what god says jesus is not going to take that confession and present it before god see there are things that devil is giving you through the world through the media i'm not saying that you will uh, you no know, see all kinds of bad stuff in media there are some things which are good in media there are some things which is not good at all evil things unholy things profane things which is not profitable is being posted in medias and at the same time uh, good things also are available see media is good but the way people are using sometimes it is good sometimes it is bad so we need to do some filtration there so what do you confess the, your confession plays a very important role if you are confessing god's word when god's word will become your words whether you feel it or don't feel it keep confessing god's word that only then it's going to become a part of your belief and let's come back to this word profession actually the word confession is very good but profession is better it's even more stronger word than confession see profession is something that you do daily have you heard uh, some people say he is a professional cricket player he is a professional basketball player have you seen uh, professionals you uh, know playing cricket it's so nice so wonderful to watch them the skills and the talents the abilities that they have exercised in connecting the ball there are some legends uh, it's uh, so delightful to watch them play cricket and there are some people who are exceptionally good in you uh, know putting the ball in the basket they are exceptionally good and there are some uh, professional guitarist and there are some professional singers professional dancers and it goes on and on you have seen uh, you no know, professional beauty parlors <laughs> there are so many things right because the reason they are so good in their work because they practice it daily they work on it daily i want to say another word for profession and it says a permanent career they have made that a part of their life they do it every day day in and day out week in and week out every time they do i have heard that uh, some professionals they spend enormous amount of time in their profession what they are doing in their career yeah, they are, they are very diligent about those things they are faithful in spending time and working on their talents in developing their talents and abilities they hone them and they work on it diligently only then they can become professional players professional football player professional guitarist you don't spend any time in uh, guitar you spend 10 minutes or once in a while you touch your guitar you will not become a professional guitar player no it won't happen so the reason some people are uh, so good at it and you call them professional it is their profession is because they spend time with it every day and they are honest and they are diligent they are sincere and they desire it to you know grow in that area only then they will become professional 
and when they are coming and doing they don't work so hard they do it easily but that did not come just like you uh, know e so easily it came for them <laughs> they worked on it and they are still working on it so that's when you can call them a professional players so what is that god is telling about to about us today in this verse profession he is the high priest of our profession or you can say is the high priest of our confession if you are a believer you are going to confess god's word you know what is the title god is giving for us today through this word you are a professional believer you, you are a believer who is going to confess god's word day in and day out every day whether your feelings may vote for it whether your feelings may not vote for it your uh, emotions may support may not support you are going to hold fast the confession of god's word concerning what god is saying about you you keep at it and you keep at it and you stay at it and you stay at it and you speak whether you like it or don't like it your circumstances are supporting or not supporting at any given time if you can take god's word and keep confessing in your life you will become a professional believer because this word of god will definitely work in your life if you want your prayers to be answered work on this verse diligently try to become a professional believer who confesses god's word at all times just because something is not happening don't get carried away this word is truth it will work for you that's why god is telling hold fast to your confession because there are possibilities you can give up because devil is working against you that's why our high priest is praying for you that's why our high priest is uh, standing against the devil and interceding to god almighty that to answer our prayers so jesus christ is not relaxing and devil also is doing continuously bringing things against us so you win over one thing then another thing will come up sometimes people get uh, worried and people become faint because if they have continual trouble that's all they say nobody is having trouble like me they exaggerate their problems so much as if they are the only ones who is going through that problem so you have a great high priest who is praying for you without taking rest and the devil is working against you every day as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour that you know that doesn't mean that he can devour everyone you can say devil you cannot devour me i'm going to trust god i'm going to confess god's word i'm going to become a professional believer in confessing god's word and god our lord jesus christ he will take my confession and present it to before god and i will receive my breakthrough and i will receive answers for my prayer my god is faithful my god is merciful my god will never leave me nor forsake me he is good to me i am not giving up on my confession i am not giving up on my god i will fight the good fight of faith and receive answers for my prayers so if you can do that you will become a strong believer and one day you can call yourself a professional believer god wants you to come to this place if you are in this place where you are unmoved where you don't change concerning god where you don't give up who can stop your blessings no one no one because god is for you he is not against you keeping that in our mind let's close for today and we will study further in the coming message thank you so much for listening to this message god bless you jesus christ is coming soon